Alrighty everyone, let's look at the new pattern for the day. Go down to pattern focus and uh, we're going to go to this. Whoop, nope, not that one. What's it doing? Ah. Uh. Okay, close. Um, Mosaic by Shazia. Look at that. Okay, it's another grid pattern. We have had a lot of grid patterns lately. <clears throat> That's okay. Grids are fine. I'm getting better with grids. So it looks like we're going to make our grid and then <clears throat> just like what we did yesterday, we're going to put things in the corners, but this time we're going to put a little arch in each corner opposite like that. And then we're going to do two auras around each one of those arches. And then we're going to put a rectangle in there. And then we're going to aura around that rectangle. And then fill in. So I may actually fill in during this step. If we're going to fill that in. <clears throat> rather than come back to it I may draw that and just fill that in on that step and then the same here I'll draw in that and fill it in on that step that way I have fewer steps right and then it looks like that when it's done depending on which direction you go that's pretty cool okay so let's give that a go. Turn on my light. Everybody close your eyes. Okay. Ah. Wow, that's really harsh. Okay. Here we go. Draw me a grid. You know, I think I can see the grid. I, I did yesterday's on this side. I think I can see that grid right through the paper. So I am not going to do with my pencil. I'm just going to go straight in with the pen. It's scary, I know. Okay. And you know, I'm going to make it a little wavy. Just to show that it can be. Like that. Okay. And then... If I'm going to draw that and make it a nice filled in corner, I'm going to go ahead and just do it with my thicker pen and fill it in to start with. Now, if you turned your tile and did it here and here and turned your tile, you'd end up with a circle. You don't want that. But that's what you would end up with. Just letting you know you can do it that way. And, of course, you don't have to color this in either. You can leave it uncolored. But I'm going to try to follow, follow the pattern. You know, not all, I don't always. Sometimes I go completely rogue. But today, the roguest I got was not making a straight grid, but making the wonky grid. I could have made a a really wonky grid, but I didn't. I just give it a little bit of a wave. So my corners aren't right angles. And that's okay. Hey, sick. There's another big old truck. What the heck's with the big trucks today? I wonder if somebody's getting a pool. Because that's a second 
dump truck I've seen go by. That's a big truck. I'm going to go for an even bigger nib on my pen and see if I can make this go a little bit faster. Ooh, that's a nice fat nib. I had a nice little conversation today with uh, on Messenger with one of my YouTube buddies. Uh, she's Pepper Jackie on YouTube, so you may see her comments under my videos sometime. Uh, I want to thank you for showing me your stuff, um, thinking of me when. I was having a struggle with with one of my videos. She said, yeah, this is what she did. Hope, and hoped that her tip might help me. I appreciate that. Um, and she shared that she uh, has gone back to school to get her degree and change her life course a little bit and as an older adult going back to school it can be a little bit scary a lot stressful right and she shares she does a lot of uh, Zentangle patterns on the corners of her notebook papers and and while she's taking notes and I would probably do the same um, because I find that I, I listen better when I am uh, doing something with my hands like that. So I would probably do the same if I was taking notes. I would, I would be drawing patterns along the corners of all my pages. <laughs> and... Um, But she says she shares with other students the joy of Zentangle and Tangle patterns. And, and that's awesome. So I want to thank you for that. I've often say that the, to me this is one of the few art, art forms that pretty much anyone can do. If you can hold a pen or a pencil. You don't have to have special supplies. You can have a piece of notebook paper and a regular uh, ballpoint pen. You don't have to have microns. You don't have to have tiles. You just have to have something to draw with and something to draw on and you can do the entangle. And I think that makes it accessible to just about everyone. Um, if you can make a mark on the paper, you can do this. Doesn't mean that everybody has the same ability to have the muscle memory and the coordination to have um, smooth and straight lines. No, not necessarily. And I know that there are days when my arm and my hand, my muscle coordination is better than others. Um, the other day when I started out, I was having a day. I really was. I was, I was in a bad place. I was having a bad day. 
but I decided I was going to sit down and do my uh, drawings anyway because it was the day I had time to do it. And I noticed that as I drew, as I relaxed, when you tense up, you tend to make wog wogglier, wogglier, more woggly lines. Your, your lines are not as smooth when you're all tense. When you relax <clears throat> is when um, you seem to have better time and easier control over your pen. Um, so don't, don't, don't get a death grip on your pen. Relax. Just, just. <sighs> because that will help you make smoother lines. I want two. Yes. And remember that the actual outcome of the art is actually less important than the act of making it. And you can I think um, if you were using, um, what am I trying to say? If you were using a, a, a surface that was less permanent, um, like a whiteboard, where you would erase it, or, um, you know, a stick in the sand at the beach, um, you know your art is not going to be permanent. But the joy of making the art is the point of it. People say, "Well, what do you do with what do you do with all your all your art when you're finished?" Most of the time, once I'm finished, that's it. You know, I take a picture of it to save it for later. But pretty much, you know, I'm happy giving them away because the making of the art, the art itself is not the end product. That's not the, the goal. The art itself is not the goal. The making the art is the goal. And I don't know if, if that makes any sense. Some people don't get that, that, that. They don't get that there's, that the impermanence of it wouldn't make, or the permanence of it doesn't make any difference to me. If it lasts a year, if it lasts a hundred years, I, I don't care. Because the point of it was to enjoy myself while I was making the art itself. That's the whole point. Okay, so there's that part. And you could just leave it right like that, shade it, and you'd be done. You could do that. Um, I believe there's a pattern out there in the world that looks like that. Uh, but this one has more steps. So, the next thing we want to do is to make a square. In here. I think I got a little funky with that, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Better like that. I had a hard time for this first one seeing what I was supposed to draw. So now I'm thinking more of a V. 
like that, and then a V like that. And that's more of the square shape that I need. That one's a little off, but you know, that's okay. They don't have to be perfect. Because I told myself it was a V, it ended up a little, a little more V-shaped. More of an L. L, and then an upside down L. L and L. Yeah, so like I said, if you you have something to write on and you have something to write with, you can draw a Zentangle pattern. My son's leaving for school. He's presenting a senior project today. Super proud of him. He built a Tesla coil from scratch using parts from a kit. They do have kits for that, but he had it started out with just circuits and wires and he managed to solder and build and program and do all this electronic stuff that is way more complicated than I understand and built himself a Tesla coil so he's presenting that today um, he and his advisor did decide that it was not advisable to actually physically show it. Uh, he's going to bring it to school, but he's not going to plug it in and, and do it because of you know liability and stuff. Um, but he did did make video of what it does. And it made a uh, PowerPoint, and he's going to present and show how he built it and what it does and what it can do. Very cool. All right. So far, so good. This is one of those ones that's going to take a while just because there's just so many little details with it. And then go back. And I might actually use my 005, my little teeny pen, to do these other ones just to get a different line weight. And we're just going to go around like that. Just fill in the space. Thusly. Now 
That one's a little weird because my middle part is a little weird, but that's okay. I feel there we go. I've stopped talking. I got quiet. Because I'm in the zone. So we have one more pattern for this week to record. Uh, next week, I don't know, things might get out of out of order again. Um, I've got another week where my schedule is all discombobulated. I need to talk to my new manager. Give her availability There we go. That looks like that should work. Give it a little shading. Decide how I want to do that. I think I'm going to do shading here and here. If that's not enough, well then I'll do more.
Okay. That looks good. I think I'm done. So what's its name? I've forgotten already. Mosaic. There we go. Interesting pattern. Very interesting. Very graphic. This one's this one. You really you really feel the pattern in this one. Some of them you don't really feel the pattern. You get a more of an overall sense, but this one you really feel that pattern. I think it has a lot to do with all the big black, bold black. Not all the time do I have a lot of big bold black. So anyway, this was good. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see what tomorrow's pattern is. It's going to be the last one for the week. I will be done recording for the week, which is good because i got things to do the rest of the week. And I will uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.